Top 10 Facts About Space We still don't fully understand space, our solar system, and the galaxy it's a big place. Scientists' understanding of space is constantly changing because there are billions of galaxies and stars out there, as well as planets in our own solar system that have not yet been thoroughly studied. But we do currently know some really cool things about space. We've put together a list of 10 amazing facts about space. But before we begin, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for such amazing and informative videos. 1. Space is completely silent. Space is often depicted in popular media as a vast, silent expanse, and for good reason, it is a vacuum. In a vacuum, there is no air or matter to carry sound waves, which means that sound cannot travel through space. This means that, technically speaking, space is completely silent. However, this doesn't mean that there is no noise in space. Objects in space, such as spacecraft and satellites, can produce sounds through mechanical means, such as vibrations or electrical interference. For example, the International Space Station ISS, has a variety of systems that produce noise, such as fans and pumps, which astronauts can hear while inside the ISS. However, these sounds would not be able to travel outside of the ISS, as they would not be able to travel through the vacuum of space. Objects in space, such as spacecraft and satellites, can produce sounds, and some celestial bodies have atmospheres that can carry sound. 2. The sunset on Mars appears blue. The sunset on Mars appears blue due to the unique properties of the Martian atmosphere. The Martian atmosphere is composed primarily of carbon dioxide, with trace amounts of other gases such as argon and nitrogen. The atmosphere is also much thinner than Earth's atmosphere, with a surface pressure of only about 0.6% that of Earth's. When the sun sets on Mars, the light from the sun has to travel through a much greater distance of the Martian atmosphere before it reaches the surface. The thin atmosphere scatters the sunlight, causing the shorter blue wavelengths of light to scatter more than the longer red and yellow wavelengths. This is similar to the phenomenon of Rayleigh scattering, which causes the blue color of the sky on Earth. When the sun sets on Mars, the thin atmosphere scatters the sunlight, causing the shorter blue wavelengths of light to scatter more than the longer red and yellow wavelengths. 3. One day on Venus is longer than one year. One day on Venus, also known as its rotation period, is longer than one year on Venus, which is its orbital period. A day on Venus is equivalent to 116 Earth days and 18 hours, while a year on Venus is equivalent to 224.7 Earth days. The reason for this discrepancy is due to the fact that Venus has a very slow rotation on its axis. Venus takes approximately 243 Earth days to rotate once on its axis, which is longer than it takes for the planet to orbit the Sun. This slow rotation is thought to be caused by Venus's thick atmosphere, which is believed to have slowed down the planet's rotation over time through a process called atmospheric drag. Venus's slow rotation and thick atmosphere also make it the hottest planet in our solar system, with surface temperatures reaching up to 864 degrees Fahrenheit. This slow rotation is believed to be caused by Venus's thick atmosphere, and it's also the reason for the planet's high temperatures, as the thick atmosphere traps heat from the sun. There is an uncountable number of stars in the known universe. There are an estimated 10 to the power of 22 to 10 to the power of 24 stars in the known universe. This number is so large that it is often referred to as uncountable or astronomical. Scientists use telescopes to study the stars and make estimates about the number of stars in the universe, but it's important to note that this number is constantly changing as new discoveries are made. Most stars in the known universe are located in galaxies, of which there are an estimated 2 trillion in the observable universe. Our own Milky Way galaxy alone is estimated to contain between 100 and 400 billion stars. It's also worth noting that this number is based on the observations of stars that are within our observable universe, but the universe itself could be infinite. 5. 99% of our solar system's mass is the Sun. Approximately 99.86% of the total mass of the solar system is contained within the Sun. The Sun is a massive, massive star and its gravity is responsible for keeping the planets and other objects in the solar system in orbit around it. The Sun's mass is so great that its gravity is able to hold all the planets in our solar system and also the asteroids, comets and other smaller objects in orbit around it. The remaining 0.14% of the solar system's mass is made up of the planets, their moons, asteroids, comets, and other small bodies such as Kuiper Belt objects, and the Oort cloud. Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system, is the second most massive body in the solar system, 
but it still only represents around 0.001% of the solar system's mass. The Sun's mass is so great that its gravity is able to hold all the planets and other objects in the solar system in orbit around it, and also, it's the source of all energy in the solar system. 6. The largest asteroid in our solar system is a mammoth piece of space rock named Ceres. The largest asteroid in our solar system is Ceres. Ceres is also classified as a dwarf planet by the International Astronomical Union IAU, due to its large size and spherical shape. It is located in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter and has a diameter of about 940 kilometers, 584 miles, making it the largest object in the asteroid belt and the only dwarf planet located in the asteroid belt. Ceres has a dark surface, and it's composed mainly of water ice, rock, and clay. It's also believed to have a subsurface ocean of liquid water, making it a potential target in the search for extraterrestrial life. In 2015, NASA's Dawn spacecraft visited Ceres and provided detailed imagery and data of the asteroid's surface and structure. Ceres has a dark surface, and it's composed mainly of water ice, rock, and clay. It's also believed to have a subsurface ocean of liquid water, making it a potential target in the search for extraterrestrial life. 7. The position of the North Star will change over time. The position of the North Star, also known as Polaris, will change over time. The North Star is a relatively fixed point in the night sky that is used as a reference point for navigation and orientation. It is located close to the celestial North Pole, which is an imaginary point in the sky around which all stars appear to rotate. The Earth's axis of rotation is tilted at an angle of about 23.5 degrees from the plane of its orbit around the Sun. This tilt causes the celestial North Pole to move in a small circle around the true North Pole of the Earth's rotation, a process known as precession. This means that the position of the North Star in the sky changes over time. 8. Jupiter's red spot is shrinking. Jupiter's great red spot, GRS, is shrinking. The great red spot is a massive anticyclonic storm system that has been observed on Jupiter for over 350 years. It is much larger than the size of Earth and has been known to shrink and grow over time. Scientists believe that the shrinking of the Great Red Spot may be due to the storm system losing energy and being slowly absorbed by the surrounding atmosphere. The shrinking may also be caused by the GRS interacting with other weather systems on Jupiter, such as smaller storms and vortices. Scientists believe that the shrinking of the Great Red Spot may be due to the storm system losing energy and being slowly absorbed by the surrounding atmosphere. 9. Outer space isn't empty space. Outer space is a vast, three-dimensional expanse that contains a wide variety of celestial objects, including stars, galaxies, planets, moons, asteroids, comets, and more. It also contains a wide variety of matter and energy, including hot plasma, cosmic rays, magnetic fields, and dark matter. Outer space is also filled with a wide variety of gases, including hydrogen and helium, as well as dust and other small particles. These gases and particles are distributed unevenly throughout the universe and can be found in different concentrations in different regions. The space between celestial objects is not completely empty, as it is also filled with various forms of radiation, such as microwaves, radio waves, X-rays, gamma rays. The study of outer space is called astronomy and it is a branch of physics that studies the properties, behavior, and origins of the objects and phenomena found in the universe. 10. Jupiter has at least 79 moons. Jupiter has at least 79 known moons. As of September 2021, scientists have confirmed the existence of 79 natural satellites orbiting Jupiter. These moons range in size from large, irregularly shaped objects like Ganymede, which is the largest moon in the solar system, to small, irregularly shaped objects like Himalaya and Alara. Jupiter's four largest moons, known as the Galilean moons, were first observed by Galileo Galilei in 1610 and are among the largest objects in the solar system outside of the Sun and the eight planets. They are Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. Did you learn something new about space that you didn't know before? We hope you did. So, if you're interested in learning more amazing ideas, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to get notified by our new videos. Please like and share the video. Don't forget to comment down your views on this. Thanks for watching till the end.